Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. Good, very good. How was your day, Nubia? Uh, fine. Good. Very good. <laughs> and you, Felipe, how was your day? It was very hard in oh, the work. <laughs> okay, a lot of work. A lot of work. Yes. Okay, and you, Ovidio, how was your day? My day, my days was happy every day. Good, <laughs> very good, nice. And you too? Yeah, yeah. And your day? It was good, it was good, thank God. I visit different places during the day. All right. What, what places? Who places? No. Um, I work for Inglés Corporativo, and I also teach in um, Universidad Evangelica. Mm. I am a teacher there. Mm. Yes. All with English. Yes, different subjects but everything is in English. Okay. I teach United States history, culture, uh, English literature, mm -hmm. grammar, oral expression, different subjects, but everything is in English. Okay. Yeah. So what's today's date? Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. <laughs> yes. The last day of classes. The last day of classes. Okay, good. And what is the date? It is thir thirteen. Thirteenth. Yeah, today is the thirteenth. That is correct. What is your favorite day of the week? For me? Sunday. Sunday. Friday. Sunday. Friday. Friday okay. in the night. <laughs> okay, so Nubia says Friday night. What do you think, Ovidio? What is your favorite day? For me, only Sunday. Okay. Why do you like Sundays, Ovidio? What? What's the reason you like Sundays? Um, no understand, teacher. What is the reason you like Sundays? A ver, se lo voy a poner en el chat de la plataforma. ¿Por qué razón te Ah, uh, okay. Ay, ya ve que ahí puedo inglés solo leyéndolo. <laughs> <laughs> What's the uh, reason you like Sundays? Okay, uh, because in these days um, I go to the church and I I wash my clothes. Um, mm, I take a shower with my dog and I don't know to say. This is a four. Como yo puedo bañar mi perro? Okay, I bathe my dog. I bathe my dog. Oh, okay. Yo baño a mi perro. Okay, I bathe. Yeah, I bathe my dog. Mm -hmm. Y um um and um and clean my my house every oh, every day, Sunday. Every Sunday. Do you live alone? Do you? Do you live alone? Uh, no, I live with my mom and my cousin. Oh, okay. Very good. Nice. Nuvia, you say that you like Friday nights. Yeah. Why? Why? Because I can... Uh... Um, 
I Go can, out. I can rest, rest, uh, de descansar. Yes, rest. rest. I can rest. I can, I can rest. Okay. Do you work Saturdays, Novia? Uh, sometimes. Okay, sometimes. All right, good. Felipe, you said that your favorite day is Sunday. Yes. Why do you say Sunday is your favorite day? Because I uh, get up uh, uh, late. Late. <laughs> what time is late? Mm, for me, 12 minutes. 1 p.m. Oh, no, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Yes, yes. Okay, good, good. So all the, all the week, I get up early. Uh, uh -huh. 4.30 a.m. Yes, I understand. I understand. Yeah, okay. Pamela, welcome back, Pamela. Hi, good evening. Everybody. Good evening. Oh, everybody. everybody. Yes, everybody. Pamela, do you have a favorite day? Mm, no, really. Uh, I don't have one. You don't have one in particular? No. Okay. Maybe Friday. Maybe Friday. Do you work Saturdays? Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Really? Yes. So when is your day off? Um. ¿Cómo se dice que tengo turnos rotativos? I have changing schedule. Tiene un horario okay. cambiante. I have one changing schedule. Oh, okay. So every week is different. Every two weeks. Oh, every two weeks is different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where do you work, Pamela? Eh, Intravesa. Yes, okay. All right, good. Very good. All right, let's begin. Um, did you finish the exercises in the platform for unit two or three? Three. 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 Okay. Did you finish the, um, the exercises in the platform? Yes. No. Not yet. What is the meaning of not yet? No todavía. no todavía. Ajá, todavía no. Todavía no. Yes, not yet. Okay. When do you plan to finish the platform? Saturday. Saturday. Yes. Sunday. On weekends. On weekends. Okay. Um, how frequent do you visit the platform? Every weekend. Only on weekends? No, uh, two or three days a weekend. Okay. Mm. How, how do you say un día sí, un día no in English? Every other day. Ahí está en el chat del platform. Every okay. other day. Every other day. Every other yes. day. No vaya a decir one day yes, one day no. Que eso no existe. Every, every, other every other day. Every other day. Es decir, si yo miro a mi primo el martes, no lo voy a ver miércoles. Si lo vi el sábado, no lo voy a ver domingo. Entonces eso significa every other day. Okay. Yes. Y si yo quisiera decir un año sí, un año no. Every other year. Every, year. Every other year. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y si yo quiero decir un sábado sí, un sábado no. Every other Saturday. Every other Saturday, exactly. Very good. Very good. Every other Saturday. Yes. Entonces lo que hace prácticamente a la palabra day la sustituye con la expresión que usted quiere ocupar. Every other week. Every other month. So Pamela nos estaba diciendo de que el horario de ella cambia every other two weekend. Every other week. Una two. semana sí, una semana no. Así es, no. ¿verdad, Pamela? Every two weeks. Two weeks. 
Yes, I'm sorry. Every two weeks. Sí, en el, en el caso aplica un poquito diferente. Yeah. Every two weeks. All right. Genesis. Hello, teacher. How are you, Genesis? I'm fine. I'm so, so uh, tired. Uh-huh. Yes. I think that everybody is tired. It's Thursday. It's 9 p.m. So I think everybody's tired. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, did everybody have dinner? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Cuando se conecte, trate de venir ya comidito para que se pueda concentrar más. Okay. Si no, ahí va a estar pensando en pupusas y frijoles y todo eso. Okay, anyways. So, in the platform, there is one exercise related with adjectives. Adjectives. Ahí lo vamos a escribir. Adjectives. In what se session there is this? Um, I think it's in the middle. A la mitad de la lección de todos los ejercicios creo que le aparece este. So, what is an adjective? Beautiful. For example, beautiful. Cheerful. Cheerful. Uh -huh. What's an adjective? Now, what is the function of the adjective? What's the function? This give qualities. Uh -huh. qualities. To people, thing, uh, things, animals. Uh, okay. What is another form to say qualities? Characteristics. 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 Yes. A beautiful day. Beautiful is an adjective. Yes. So you said a beautiful day. So an adjective gives you a description about the noun. Now, ahí en el chat del platform, ponga ahí los adjetivos que se le vienen a la mente ahorita. Are you there? Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Tall. What else? What else? ¿Qué más? Hungry, tall, short. What else? Yo sé que ese fácil me puede mencionar 20, yo sé. Cold. Tired. Excited. Uh -huh. Cold, tired, ugly, angry. What is, what is the opposite of angry? Happy. Happy. Uh -huh. And the opposite of ugly? Beautiful. And for men? <laughs> Handsome. Handsome, exactly. Very good. Shy. What is the meaning of shy? Timido. Timido. What is the opposite? Valiant. What is the opposite of shy? Shy. Is shy. Outgoing. Yes, outgoing, talkative, friendly, sociable. Okay. Handsome, expressive. How do you say barato in English? Cheap. Cheap. Vaya, póngalo ahí. Cheap. What is the opposite of cheap? Expensive. 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 Very good. Uh huh. How do you say lejos in English? Far. 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 What is the opposite of far? Near. <laughs> Near. Very good. Yes. How do you say profundo in English? Deep. Deep. Very good. Póngalo ahí, por favor. 
What is the opposite of deep? Um, high. The opposite. The opposite. Superficial. No. <laughs> Ni idea. Shallow. Shallow. Oh. Shallow. Shallow. ¿Y qué significa, teacher? The opposite of deep. deep. Profundo. Ah, si deep es profundo, ¿qué es shallow? Superficial. Superficial. O en el sabor decimos pachito. Pachito. Teacher, would you write? Please. Yes, it's right there. Shallow. Ahí está. Shallow. Ahí está en el chat del platform, Nubia. Lo Thank puede you. ver. Sí, sí, ahora sí. Ok, sí. good, very good. Anything else? <coughs> How do you say humilde in English? Humble. Oh, huh? Humble. 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 Yes, humble. No, no homeboy. Humble. <laughs> homeboy. Uh, y ese homeboy le van a ir a tocar la puerta otro rato. <laughs> humble. 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 Yes. Yes, humble. humble. Okay, very good. I am um, humble. Okay, good. <laughs> le creemos a Ovidio. Oh. Uh -uh. Si, si fuera cierto, no lo hubiera dicho. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> okay, anyways. So, we use adjectives to give a description. ¿Estamos bien claro que los adjetivos lo que hacemos? Escribimos algo. Damos una descripción de algo, de alguien, de algún lugar. Cualquier cosa que se pueda describir. Entonces, la lección exactamente es dónde usted ubica el adjetivo cuando está hablando. Let me show you a document. Ahorita les comparto un documento. How do you say compartir in English? Share. Share. Exactly. Share. Y como yo sé que ya tiene su Facebook en inglés, solo estaba revisando. Yo sé que ya sabía usted. Hey, I have a question. Yes, Genesis. Uh, it's, it's Pamela. Oh, I'm sorry, Pamela. Es correcto eh, decir proud como un adjetivo, porque en inglés he escuchado que proud se utiliza más cuando uno dice que está orgulloso, como feliz o, o que se siente. Así es. Sí. Pero como digo orgulloso de una persona que es orgullosa. Oh. O sea, como lo contrario de humilde. Sí, ok. Uh, se lo voy a escribir aquí en el chat del, del, del WhatsApp. Se dice conceded y se escribe de la siguiente manera. Conceded. Que viene siendo en salvadoreño creído o creída. Conceded. 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 Yes. Conceded. 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 Si digamos usted conoce a alguien que no saluda, no le habla a nadie... Y, y, y se cree un poco más que los demás, usted dice, he is conceited or she is conceited. Conceited. Yes. Conceited. Ok. So vamos a ocupar el, el, el ejemplo que dijo Pamela para explicarles esto de acá. Ella dijo, ocupó el ejemplo. I am... Proud of you. ¿Qué le está diciendo ahí? Estoy orgullosa de ti. Ajá. Entonces dijimos que proud es un adjetivo. Los primeros tres ejemplos que yo le traí acá, y vamos a ocupar también el que dijo Pamela, si usted se fija, antes de mencionar el adjetivo, ponemos el verbo to be. What are the three forms of verb to be in present? Is, is, are. Very good. O usted puede decir. They are tired. They are tired. They are tired. Vuelve a seguir el mismo patrón de que antes de decir el adjetivo, yo le voy a anteponer el verbo to be. 
So, look at number one. A doctor's job is tiring. ¿Qué dice ahí? El trabajo del doctor es aburrido. Ah, cansado. Un doctor. Cansado, sí. Cansado. El trabajo de un doctor es cansado. Tiring. A doctor's job is tiring. Como, se, como usted puede ver. Tiring. ¿Cómo se pone ahí, teacher? ¿El qué? El, la la pronuncia de tiring. 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 Uh, tiring. A doctor's job is tiring. tiring. Si usted se fija, antes de mencionar el adjetivo cansado, <risa> yo le pongo el verbo to be, que está aquí, y está en forma de is. Look at number two. A police officer is dangerous. dangerous. A police officer, ahí me faltó job. A police officer's job is dangerous. ¿Qué dice ahí? Una, la oficina de un policía es peligrosa. El trabajo de un policía es peligroso. And look at number three. An actor's job is exciting. ¿Qué dice ahí? Yes. El trabajo de un actor es emocionante. Y de un solo íbamos a ocupar el ejemplo de Pamela y dijimos, I'm proud of you. ¿Qué dijimos que significaba el qué? Orgulloso. Estoy orgulloso de ti. Ajá, estoy orgulloso de ti. Exactly. En look at number five. They are tired. ¿Qué dice ahí? Están cansados. cansados. O sea que eh, no importa si los complementos en la oración van antes o después del adjetivo. La idea es que la oración siempre lleve el verbo to be ah. seguido del adjetivo. Es, es una de las opciones, correcto. Okay. Es una de las opciones. Y tenemos la otra opción que son los ejemplos, los últimos tres ejemplos. En este caso, primero ve el adjetivo y después se menciona de lo que se está hablando. Look at number six. A coach has an exciting career. ¿Qué dice ahí? Un entrenador. Ajá, un entrenador. Tiene una carrera emocionante. Emocionante, exactly. Un entrenador tiene una carrera emocionante. Muy bien. What about number seven? Un juez tiene trabajo serio. O el trabajo exactly. De, el trabajo serio. Un juez tiene un trabajo serio. Vuelve a aparecer el adjetivo serious y después la palabra trabajo que yes. vendría a ser el noun. And we have number eight. A mechanic has complicated work sometimes. ¿Qué dice ahí? Un mecánico tiene algunas veces su trabajo complicado. Exactly. Ves que le llevan unos carros que a veces que ni le encuentran qué es lo que tiene el carro. So, a mechanic has a complicated work sometimes. Now, so look here. En la parte 1, todo esto de acá... We are using adjectives. Estamos ocupando adjetivos. Pero los ocupamos de una manera que por ley yo tengo que anteponerle cualquiera de las tres formas del verbo to be. In the second part, we are using also adjectives. Siempre estamos ocupando adjetivos, pero si usted se fija, cambia la manera de cómo lo ocupamos la primera vez en, la, en los primeros ejemplos. So here you first you mention the adjective and then you mention the noun. Questions? Preguntas? Y de esto viene en la plataforma, teacher. Yes. <coughs> It's in the platform, yes. 
Any questions? Preguntas? No? Ok, vamos a reciclar vocabulario. Dígame una de las ocupaciones o profesiones que aprendimos en esta semana. Light attendant. Ok. Carchi. A flight. A flight. A flight attendant has... ¿Cómo describe usted el trabajo de un flight attendant? Siguiendo Exciting. las estructuras. Exciting. ¿Alguien dijo exciting? Exciting. A flight exciting. attendant. Dangerous. A flight attendant's job is. Y ahí le pone usted. Exciting. ¿De qué otra manera puede describir el trabajo de un flight attendant? Flight attendant has a exciting job. Ajá. A flight attendant's job is exciting. ¿Qué otro adjetivo ocuparía usted para describir un flight attendant's job? ¿Cree que, son, que, no, que no se cansan de ir de un a otro? Tiring. Uh -huh. Tiring. Tiring. What else? Tiring. Fíjese bien, cuando usted dice tired y termina con ED, significa que la persona está cansada. Pero si usted quiere decir qué es lo que causa que esta persona esté cansada, usted tiene que decir tiring, que es cansante. Tiring. Ok. What else? ¿De qué otra forma describe el trabajo de una flight attendant? Can we say fun? Yes. Fun. What's the meaning of fun? Divertido. Yes. Divertido. Peligroso, teacher. O sea, porque También. Es dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Ya, yeah, puede ser peligroso, un accidente. Rara vez la gente sobrevive para contarlo. Dangerous. Lonely. 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 Bueno, puede que la persona llegue a sentirse solita o solito de tanto andar en el aire sin su familia. Maybe. Ok. Um, any questions here? Preguntas. Ok, good. ¿Cómo podemos decir gratificante? Yes. yes. Gratification. Gratifying. Ok. Gratifying. Ajá. Uh -huh. How do you say recompensante? How do you say recompensa in English? Re... Ahí está, ¿cómo se dice? Reward. Reward, reward mm. significa recompensa, pero si yo le pongo rewarding, va a ser recompensante. Yes, rewarding. All right, any questions or comments? Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, sir. Y le quito la ING y hay unos anuncios que dicen Doc is reward. ¿Cómo es que what? dice? Dice. Creo que ha de decir perro bravo, no sé, o peligro, no sé. Oh, eso es warning. 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 No, ¿cómo podía decir perro bravo? Um, perros bravos, angry dogs, or mad dogs. Mm. Ah, pues, no, ah, pues, porque, pero yo me acuerdo que empieza con re, con el re, así. Oh, oh, ya, ya sé cuál me dice usted. Usted dice 
beware. Beware, ¿cuál es eso? Beware quiere decir advertencia. Pero, uh, ah, ya lo. Ajá, beware. Y así es. Y ahí sí. le aparece perro bravos. Uh -huh. you know? Ok, thank you. Hay otros otros que dicen, mire, no se preocupe por el perro, dice. Téngale miedo al dueño. Beware. Ok, so vamos a hacer una pausa de esto. Let me ask you, todavía no hemos llegado al siguiente tema del que les voy a decir ahorita, pero ustedes ya vienen bien fogueaditos. Ustedes deberían de estar en otro, en otro nivel. Ok, when you speak in future, what's the auxiliary you use? Will. Will. Ajá. Will or? Going to. Or going to. Very good. Going to. So you say will or? Going to. Going to. Okay. Entonces, si yo le pregunto, what plans do you have for Saturday? ¿Qué me va a responder usted? What plans do you have for Saturday? I go to I go to the work in the morning. I'm going to work in the morning. Uh huh. I will I will lunch. I will have lunch. Uh huh. So if you want to speak about future, you're going to say will or you're going to say going to. Como me va Yes. There is a, a other other word in is escribe S H uh -huh. H A L L. No oh, es, no es un futuro. Es, es un futuro, pero estamos hablando de un futuro obligatorio. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, mire, léame los diez mandamientos, ahí le va a decir. No matarás. Es futuro, pero obligatorio. Ahí es donde ocupa usted show. Show. Como yes. una ley. Correcto, correcto. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, si yo le pregunto, what plans do you have for Sunday? ¿Cómo me va a decir, me voy a quedar en casa? I keep in my house. I'm going stay at home. Home. I'm going to stay at home. Okay. O pudiese decir, I will stay home. Fíjese okay. bien. Okay. Gramaticalmente hablando, will es diferente a going to. Pero en la vida real, usted a la hora de estar hablando en una conversación normal, usted puede ocupar will y going to, and the two options are, are okay. There's no problem. So, fíjese bien, esta es la pregunta que usted va a, 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 a practicar con su compañero. Um, we can. What plans do you have for the weekend? ¿Qué le pregunta ahí? Planes tienes para el fin de semana. Ajá, entonces va a tratar de decirle aunque sea cinco oraciones, aunque no sean ciertas, pero la idea es de que usted practique el will o el going to. So I will give you five minutes, lo voy a, le voy a dar cinco minutos para que medio des, eh, den una descripción de lo que van a hacer el fin de semana. Is it clear? Yes. All right, let me see this here. Vamos a hacer tres grupos. Los habilitamos, los abrimos y start practicing. Pamela. Hi. Evening. Good evening. <laughs> well, you start or me? You start. Ladies, I... ladies first. Okay. <laughs> Ask me. Good. What plan do you have for the weekend? Good. Uh, 
Yes. No alcancé a copiar la pregunta, teacher, la puede. Decía, what plans do you have for the weekend? What plans do you What plans do you have for the weekend? Okay. Mm -hmm. Nubia, Nubia, my question is, what plan do you have for weekend? For the weekend. For the weekend. Mm -hmm. What's the answer? Daniya Genesis. Mm -hmm. I don't have plan. I think uh, study English in the platform. Okay. Oh, that's okay. the perfect plan. Tema 3.6, ¿verdad? Yes, it's in the middle of the session. Okay. Está como a la mitad de toda la unidad, creo. Teacher, es el 3.6. Ok, 3.6. Sí, viene apareciendo como a la mitad, creo. Ah, ok. Gracias, teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo era la pregunta, teacher? What plans do you have for the weekend? Ok, thank you. Sure. What, plan, what plans do you have for the weekend? Yes. Ok. Good. Ok, ok. Esa era la pregunta entonces, Carlos. Ok, gracias, Vladimir. Y le daba el ejemplo de In the afternoon, I will go to the mall on Sunday. Good. What mall? Uh, Plaza Las, Mundo. Plaza Mundo, Las Cascadas, Metro Centro. Near. Ok, you live in Soyapango, Vladimir? Yes. What part? I live um, near, near, very near to Plaza Mundo. Oh. What's, what's the name of the neighborhood? Um, veamos. Con... Monte Carmelo, Florencia, San Rafael. Antiquita. Mm. Um, co Guadalupe. Oh, Colonia Guadalupe. Yes. Reparto Guadalupe. Yes. Cuando llega la ruta 7. Correctly. Ok, good. Nice. Ok, practice. Ok, thanks. Thank you, teacher. All right. Uh, al sabor y rabo también hay una es como, hay pista de carreras hay uh, pools ya ve teacher where yes. dónde es eso de polvorín en el polvorín yes. allá por la 5 de noviembre ajá cabal yo ahí, ¿Hay ahí, ahí dicen? Ahí hay un polvorín. Ajá, correcto, Pero sí. Por, San Jacinto, dice. por el zoológico en San Jacinto, de Sub Park, de Sub Park, San Jacinto. Oh, ok. Eso, pero ese es el, el, el cuartel zapo, el Zapote. Yo lo conozco como el polvorín. Oh. Oh. oh ok. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <risa> All right. Bueno, Nubia le toca con, con Genesis. Ok. Uh, yo pregunto. Ok. Yes. Genesis. Evaluar. What then? <risa> <risa> uh, tome apuntes ahí, Ovidio. Pero, cuando When you le study or learn more vocabulary, you 
it's very, I don't know, it's easy. It's, uh, We're getting better. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yes, I tried the, the last day I visited with my wife to Europe. I visited the, the London okay. for 10 days. And you speak, speak, speak with a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> to explain it. They only to go to the end. Yeah. It, uh, you to talk every, uh, every time to, to there. And it's very, it's very nice. It's not... yeah, but you are very expressive. What? You are very expressive and como suelto de la lengua. Talkative. Yes, talkative. Yes, yeah, I try to, to listen to the class very interesting. Yes, I try to. I am very talkative in Spanish. In Spanish? Are you? <laughs> English yes. too. English, uh, English too. I'm, I'm trying to. When, when I know uh, enough, I will be very talkative. Okay. okay. And, and, and Pamela, where did you study before? Um, English? Uh-huh. Yeah. Where did you study English before? I don't, I don't go to a school, to an English school. Okay. So but in, in my school, I study. Um, there, there, there we're having classes, English classes. Okay, good. And what about you? basic. I study in the, in the Europe Academy. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I learned to, to the advanced level, <laughs> I tried to, but it's, I, I passed the basic, I passed the intermediate, and near to the advanced, I lost the course. Okay. But the tenses I know, I, I, I know how to speak to the tenses, the past, the present, the future, I try to. All right, all right. My vocabulary is very... Very, I don't know, poco? Limited. Oh, limited, yes. Yes. So I go very well. Okay, but but practice and practice yes. is yes. good for you. Yes, yes. Yes. All right. I, good. I need to, to learn how to speak um, more quickly and more expressive. Okay. Um, bueno, uh, incluso, uh, in, this uh -huh. day, these days I have seen a series in English with Good. English subtitles. Okay. In Netflix? Yes, friends, actually. Okay. Good, good, good. good. That that's nice. Mm -hmm. Al menos el contexto si se, si se entiende. <laughs> okay. Fine. Good. Very good. Okay, so let's return to the main session. Did you finish practicing? Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah. Any questions about vocabulary? Ya una vez estamos en medio de la conversación, hay veces que queremos decir algo y no tenemos la palabra. Do you have any questions about vocabulary? How do we say incluso? Including. Okay. Eh, y, y también puede decir even. Ah, oh, okay. Even. I know even. Yes, even. Okay. All right. Yes. Any questions? Okay. Did you receive the images um, in the chat? Yes. What images? How many images did you receive? Presently. Two, 
to Okay, the I screen. sent you uh, exactly three okay. images. Three images. And one of them was this one here. Can you see that image? Yes. Yes, I see. What colors do you see? I don't see I... anything. And black, blue, I don't know, blue and... Okay, green. Are you sharing? Green? Yes, I'm yeah. sharing. Like blue? I don't see anything. ¿Ven ustedes la imagen en, en, en su computadora? No. No. La, donde están las caritas de cada uno. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Give me a second. Share. Da -da -da. Right here. Do you see it? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay, so what colors do you see? Green, 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 green yellow, blue. Um, pink. I do. Baby. Pink. Okay. Purple, 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 red. pink. Red. Um, sky blue, maybe? Sky blue, yeah. Green, sky blue, blue, purple, purple blue, 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 red. I do. Uh, red. Blue, pink, red. and yellow. Okay, purple and pink. Green, light blue, purple, and pink. So, if we go here, you see this here. Do you see the exercises in color green? Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> how many exercises do we have in color green? 23. 23. Okay. So, for every exercise, we have three options, but only one is correct. Yes. yes. So, what is the best answer for number one? Ooh. When do you go to school? When, when do, you do you go to school? Very good. When do you Cuando go to school? A la when do you go to school? I go to school every day. Okay. Every day. Yes. What about number two? What is the color of for your bag? Of uh -huh. your bag. What is the color of your bag? What is your color of your bag? Uh -huh. The color of my bag is black. What about number three? How are you? How are you? How are you? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? No, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? I am 48 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah. How old are you? How old are you? Yes. What about number four? When, when, when did, did you come home? When did you come home? Yes. ¿A qué horas veniste a la casa? O cuando veniste a la casa? Either one. What about number five? What, what is your favorite, favorite sport? Favorite sport. Um, what is um, your favorite sport? Very good. What about number six? When? When like, Where did you live? Where do you live? Where? Where do you live? Where do you live? Carlos, where do you live? Carlos. <laughs> Carlos. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, and do you live in Cima Cuatro? Okay. I live in Cima Cuatro. Uh, okay. What about number seven? Why were you absent yesterday? Very good. Why were you absent yesterday? Oh, I was sick. I was on vacation. Yes. What about number eight? What is your friend's your friend name? Yes. What is your friend's name? My friend's name is Michael. What about number nine? Where did you send an SMS? Yes. Where did you send an SMS? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what if I send the SMS to your personal number? Number 10. I do. Where did you buy? What did you buy yesterday? Yesterday. Okay. Um, is it what or, or where? Where? Or why? Or where? What? What? Mm, why? Mm. ¿Qué compraste ayer? Ajá. ¿Y será que podemos decir dónde compraste ayer? Yes. yes. También. ¿Y será yes. que puede decir por What? qué compraste ayer? Yes. Yes. The three options are possible. Yeah. The the options, options. Yeah, the, the, the three options are good. What about 11? Where? When will Liz arrive in Italy? When will Liz arrive in Italy? Yeah. When will Liz arrive in Italy? What about number 12? Help you. How much will help you? We have a you. Uh-huh. Who will help you? Who will help you? Ajá. ¿Y será que puede decir which will help you? Yes. ¿Cuál te ayudará? Yes. Mm. yes. Es, es raro. Eh, si usted, si le están dando dos opciones, mire, podemos ir primero a Santa Tecla y después a Lourdes. O primero a Santa Tecla y después a Ilopango. Which will help you? ¿Cuál te ayudará? Yes. yes. What about the next one? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? Yes. How much is it? Uh huh. Y podrá decir how is it? How many is it? How many? Uh uh. Oh oh. How many is the only one that no aplica? How many is it? Uh huh. Entonces, usted me puede decir, fíjese que fui a almorzar al restaurante nuevo. Y yo le digo, how is it? Mm, how many is plural? Exactly. Okay. ¿Cuántos fueron? Ajá. ¿Cómo está? Ajá, ajá. Entonces me dice, oh, fíjese que fui a almorzar al restaurante nuevo. Oh, how is it? How ¿Qué is tal it? está? ¿Qué tal está? Mm. Yeah, it's possible. It's how possible. is it? How is it? Mm -hmm. How is it? What about 14? Have you got... How many books have you got? Yes, how many books have you got? What about 15? Where were you born? Where were you born? ¿Qué le pregunta ahí? ¿Dónde naciste? ¿Dónde naciste? ¿Y cómo lo va a responder? I was born. I was born. In where you want. I was born in San Salvador. I was born in Apuma. So where were you born? Where were you born? Mm -hmm. What about 16? What is she doing? What is she doing? Good. 17? When do you get up? When do you get up? Where do you get up? Okay. When do you get up? Será que puede decir why do you get up? Yes. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about 18? Why do you get up? 18. Who likes to eat apples? 18. Who likes to eat apples? Who likes to eat apples? <laughs> uh -huh. What about 19? Well, goes more is... Which mobile is it? Mobile. Mobile is it? Ok, puede ocupar el primero y el tercero. Whose mobile? Ajá. Whose mobile is it? Or which mobile is it? ¿Cuál celular es? ¿O de quién es el celular? Los dos aplican. Whose significa de quién. What about number 20? 
we are going to Paris. Oh, where we going to Paris? Where Why we... did you call? To Paris. Oh, no. no, number twenty. Number twenty. Twenty. Uh, how will you? Where will you? How will you go to Paris? Yes. How will you go to Paris? Mm -hmm. How will you? Twenty one. Who did you call? What did you call? Why did you call? ¿Por qué llamaste? In 22? What is yep. the meaning of whom? Who, whom, whose? Whom is a quien? Who is quien? Y el último es de quién. ¿Quién? Who's ¿A quién? De quién. Cabe. Cachucha. Ajá. Who's cap is it? Who's cap is it? Yes. ¿De quién es la cachucha? Who's cap is it? Yes. Who's cap is it? Is it? Ajá. What is your card? Where is your card? Where is what? Exactly, very good. Uh, no, only the first one. Only the first. Only the first one. Los otros dos no tienen sentido. ¿Cuál es tu? No. They don't make sense. Teacher, y el when is your car? When is your car? No, porque está diciendo cuándo es tu carro. No. What? Is your car? Si usted le pusiese algo adicional, como que dijera, When is your car going to be ready? Ahí sí, pero como se queda en car, la única opción es, Where is your car? Teacher. Yes. What is the meaning 16? Um, what is she doing? Sí. What is she doing? What is she doing? Es? Yo creo que es, no, nos salteamos esa, creo. Nos saltamos sí. esa. Yeah. Creo que sí, sí. Um, yeah. What is she doing? What is she doing? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? Ah, okay. Yes, what is she doing? Okay. Ah, sí. Lo no, estaba confundiendo con el going. Why is... ¿Por qué está haciendo ella? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? No, pero no se puede decir por qué lo hace, o sea, como... como mm. eh, si tuviese un poco más el complemento, sí. Por ejemplo, si le pusiera, why is she doing that? Yeah. ¿Por qué está haciendo eso? Okay. Exactly. Any other questions or comments about today? One minute. No, no questions? No questions. Okay, so thank you very much. Have a nice weekend. And I will see you on Monday, same place, same time. Okay. Thank you Bye, very teacher. much. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy happy your Valentine's. Yes, happy Valentine's. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Ahí me guardan chocolates. Ok. Ok, bye. Y ahí bye. les mando por el chat mi dirección por si quieren enviar rosas también. Ok, okay teacher. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. See ya. <laughs>